Everything's still here. Why would someone do this? The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough! Maester, when last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice, but this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You're really... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... Honestly, I feel fine. I may not look pretty, but I'm still myself. I'm sure it's worse than that. I know you too well. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. 
White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Nothing to worry about. They're just guests. Guests? The White Hills? It's complicated. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. <sighs> I wish I could stand by you, Roderick. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood Forest. Uh, that's worth a fortune, Roderick. We'll pay it to secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... Yes, I think this will convince him. Perhaps we'll remain allies after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Roderick, please. Very good. Now then. Since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. 
I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you going to do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick. <laughs> Besides, you just swore an oath to obey that me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what it came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way... My men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. There's enough out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. Finn's a bully. I couldn't just let him push me around. Fight every bully at Castle Black and that's all you'll ever do. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. Might be right. He said worse about me. He said you fought for the north with the foresters. You were there at the twins. Yes. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? I'm sorry. I know it's the phrase to blame. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here, with the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. 
Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals, forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? To find the North Grove. The North Grove? <laughs> you serious? Old Nan used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? Why does it matter to you? Because it's real. I know it. I suppose I thought giants were just a story. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? If you ask me to, I will. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. I'm here, but where are you? Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes, sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. What brings you to the garden? You do. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. 
I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Why all the secrecy? If you wanted to talk to me, you could have asked. It never seemed the right time. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleabot. No one will ever find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Isn't it? I'm here, right? Roderick, they said you were gone. Ramsay Snow did this. He did that to Ethan. You're going to hurt him, aren't you? Lord Whitehouse says you won't, because you're a coward. But I know you will. He deserves it. I'm gonna kill Ramsay Snow for what he did. That's enough. Your little chat is over. Step back. I will speak with my brother. I said you're done. Keep your distance or I'll drag him back to high point right now. What? I have to go back? No! I want to come home! Roderick, you should speak to Mother. Roderick? Are you going to forget about me? Are you? Of course not. I will get you back home. I promise. Please hurry. How about a story? No, no. You've had your chance. He's a child. What harm could it do? Make it a quick one. Mother. Come join the others. He's right there. My son. But soon they'll take him from me just like before. It's happening all over again. 
I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Father, he, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew a better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband. My love, and our Lord Ethan, my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born to eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea Pain slavers play in crimson rains To bring Ethan back to me His final words faced with the sword Chilled Ramsey to the bone Oh
What's going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Griff Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? 